I came up with a silly little idea for an app and thought it would be fun to build it the old school way. No frameworks, bundlers, or compilers, just a single index.html file, some vanilla JavaScript, and a dream. And the fun part that we'll get to in just a moment is where I actually get this thing approved as a native app on both iOS and Android. So before we get into it, a couple of caveats on my in one hour claim. I wasn't treating this thing like MasterChef, uh, although I did complete the code for the app in around one hour, I didn't resign myself to never touching it again. And although I was able to quickly get native iOS and Android builds ready, actually getting those submitted to the app store by providing all the information, screenshots, ratings, and whatever else the app store overlords require is a process that takes at least a few hours. So the idea for this app was simple enough. I wanted a blank canvas that I could doodle on, and as you continue to draw, everything will start slowly fading away. So I thought this was a fun idea since it kind of removes the pressure of drawing anything good since it's all going to be deleted in just a few seconds anyway. So building this thing was simple enough. Uh, as advertised, you can see I just have this uh, single index.html file, a canvas, and some inline JavaScript. Now obviously if you look at the file tree over to the right, you can see some things that are obviously not index.html files. But this is just mostly stuff that was added for Capacitor later and submitting things to the app stores. So we'll get into all of that soon, but the app itself is all powered by this single index.html file. So most of the JavaScript here is just some copy pasted generic uh, draw a line on an HTML5 canvas stuff. The only real interesting part that I added was this uh, apply fade method. So basically I had this idea where every time the user stops drawing, I will apply a low opacity white rectangle over the entire canvas and this is what creates the effect of the drawing slowly fading away. So if you draw a line, it's probably going to completely disappear by the time you draw around, say, you know, 20 more lines. So with just about 132 lines of code, the app was completed. Now it was time to get it on the App Store, and I wasn't sure if I could actually get this thing accepted or not. Often Apple has rejected apps on the basis that they don't make use of native features or could have just been a website. And this app is literally just an index.html file that makes use of no native features. But the App Store is nothing if not arbitrary and inconsistent, so I figured I'd give it a crack. So although Capacitor is generally best used in conjunction with a proper mobile framework like Ionic, Capacitor can be used to build any kind of web code into a native app. All you need is for your project to have a package.json file, an index.html file, and some directory where the built output is stored, which in my case is just the source folder because I don't have a build step. So I installed Capacitor, created a Capacitor config, which I then pointed to my source folder. I installed iOS and Android, then added those to the project. Then it's just a matter of syncing your web code to that native project. And now I have an app that can run on web, native iOS, native Android, all in around an hour. And obviously this is a bit of a silly and simple application, but the point is that it's really easy to take any kind of web code, wrap it up with Capacitor and have native apps very quickly. And not only does Capacitor make creating the native builds easy, they also have a tool I used called Capacitor Assets that I utilized to create all of the various splash screens and icons required for all of the different iOS and Android devices, which can be a massive pain to do if you're trying to build all of those yourself. Now, obviously I could deploy this thing to the web instantly, which I did. And kind of surprisingly, after a short wait, the application was actually approved for both iOS and Android. So if you want to give the app a download, I'll leave a link in the description. So this whole project was initially just a bit of a joke, but uh, my three-year-old actually really likes the app and a few other people seem to like it as well. So I'll likely polish this up a bit and release an update. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, as always, if you enjoy this kind of content, a like and subscribe before you go helps a lot. And I hope you stick around for the next video.